All right, uh, back now. I just went and uh, checked a guide, just double checking that, uh, yeah, there is no other uh, special items in the ice pyramid there. So I'm good to keep going. There's no point in going in there for now. Anyways, I got the uh, a river coin and a uh, key, so I can uh, go through here. I guess the, uh, yeah, I left it running when I was, uh, eating and stuff, so the, uh, the time is going to be, uh, we'll have an extra hour into it there. Probably won't be totally accurate in the end, uh, but oh well. So I've got, uh, is it Venus Shield, so that's resistance to, I don't remember what that is, confusion or something. And I got the wizard spell. Push that there, so now I can uh, just head back. Uh, go back down to the first floor there, I think. And then I can uh, hop across that. Once I get the uh, next character, I'm gonna come back into these battlefields. No point in going through them right yet. I really don't know the game as well, uh, past the, uh, water place. Uh, if I recall correctly, there is another, uh, item on sale in this, uh, town. Uh, here's Ruben.
Got to turn away. Only the life spell. Resistant to fire. Best grenades now. Oh, they uh they shoot out like that. So there'll be some uh, kind of puzzles or whatever you use I uh, use them all. Ah, this must be it. Battle axe. through these uh, battlefields right now. So Ruben is not uh, quite as useful as BB was. He doesn't have any healing spells aside from life, so he tends to uh, burn through our uh, items there. There's uh, something good in that other uh, battlefield to make it worth going back to. I seem to recall it's a spell. I think maybe I get like, the arrow spell there. I could just have waited. Uh, once we beat the uh, fire boss, uh, 
those clouds go away and you can just walk directly, but uh, it could be useful to do it before then. That is actually a nice spell to have. Uh, it'll make it easier to get out of the next dungeon. Uh, it does one hit kill enemies, but uh, I don't remember. I don't think it's very accurate, and you, uh, I don't think you get experience. One crest, but uh, I don't remember where exactly I'm supposed to use it. Uh, I think there was one in the, the house there, a uh, place to use it uh, in the fire in uh, Firebird. Uh, but I I don't think it's uh, a really necessary uh, item. I think it'll just take you to some little room where you can uh, get chests with uh, healing potions and stuff in them. Last one here. I suppose I probably could have just put uh, Reuben on manual then. Uh, and just had him attack, that way he doesn't uh, waste healing potions and stuff. But, uh, oh well. seem to be kind of stuck there. I don't know what was happening there. We, he just kept healing over and over. I think he was, I think I was getting confused and then he would cure it and then I'd get confused again and he'd cure it again. Okay, so we didn't see, uh... Get an armor. Uh, I thought we got an armor there. Or something. Thunderspell? Yeah, I think it, it must have been the Thunderspell we just got there. So, uh. Now I've got, uh. Wizard or Black or whatever, uh, the other one. Both of them, so uh, let's, 
can use more spells if I run out. They recover uh, castings. I don't know if that was uh, brought up yet. They, uh, yeah, they, I think, recover. I don't know if it's all of your castings, but it's a uh, fair amount. Of them. back to the uh, Final Fantasies I was talking about uh, before. Uh, yeah, so I played through 12 there. I uh, liked it a lot. It's not my favorite one, but uh, it was pretty good. Played through it. Uh, uh, like it uh, this next would be 13. Uh, I haven't played any of the 13 games. Uh, I think I've actually. I actually do have all of them, I think, on the uh, PS3 there. Uh, I bought them all. And once, you know, on sale, I think they were like 10 bucks each. Yeah, there's no point in doing all those fights. Uh, four fights in a row just for a chest. Uh, yeah, so I did. I did buy the 13 games, but uh, I've never played them. Uh, I don't know. They look kind of cool, but I've heard that they're like extremely linear. And, I don't know, it's all mostly like tutorials and stuff. Uh, so, I don't know, I probably won't ever end up playing them. But yeah, I didn't pay much for them anyway, so it's okay. Uh, 14 again, MMO, don't care about that. Uh, 15, I do have it. Uh, but uh, I haven't played it yet. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I will. It's, uh, I don't know. It seems kind of just the, you know, it's the opposite of 13. It's just like a big open, uh, you know, the game's too big. I, if the game, you know, games like that where you just kind of, they've got a million side quests and it's wide open and uh, whatever. I tend to not get through those. I, I get sidetracked really easily with the side quests. I spend like, you know, a hundred hours just doing side quests in like the first uh, quarter of the game and then uh, I end up getting sick of it and, you know, wanting to just be done with the game, but, uh, you know, being only like a small amount through it, I end up quitting and, uh, you know, it, it always ends up then feeling like a waste of time if I spend forever going through grinding and doing all this optional stuff, but don't actually beat it. So I tend to just kind of avoid those games in the first place. Yeah, aside from like the mainline game, uh, played, uh, I had Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on the Game uh, Boy there. I played that a ton. I liked it a lot. Uh, I've played the PlayStation 1 a bit. Uh, I did like it too, but I did like the Advance one better. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I might do like a little video playing the advanced one. Again, not playing through it all the way, but uh, I'll just talk a bit about it. Uh, so this Charm Claw, I actually, uh, you know, after I managed to beat the, 
the wipe the ice plays eventually and make it through the rest of the game. You know, I did play it several times and, you know, beat the entire game. But, uh, for some reason I, I missed getting that uh, Charm Claw. Uh, you know, so many times, like, uh, I don't know, I remember just, you know, I beat the game a whole bunch. And then, you know, I didn't play it for like a year or whatever, and I beat it a couple more times, and, you know, uh, you know, didn't play it for a bit, and you know, beat it again, and so on, and then, I don't know, it was like a couple years later, uh, I ended up just checking that cave, but for some reason I had never gone in there, uh, and, you know, I got the claw then. Yeah, which was, I don't know, I always thought it was odd, like I was always missing the one claw at the end of the game. And actually I went into uh, that cave, like, after I, uh, you know, I had almost beaten the game, I was like at the end and I was just kind of looking all over the place, just kind of seeing if I could find that claw. And then I just kind of like wandered in there and I was like, oh wow, there's like another claw. Uh, of course, I already had the next claw at that point. And so, uh, I think this is another difference uh, between like the version 1 and the 1.01. Uh, uh, like I was talking about earlier with the enemy uh, respawning. Uh, I have heard people say that if you pick up an item, well, a weapon while you have the better version equipped, you will be unable to, like, equip the newer version, like, it gets replaced. But, uh, that didn't happen. Uh, you know, I, I had the Dragon Claw equipped, and I got the chest, and so it, it equipped the Charm Claw, and then I, uh, went, like, back and forth with you know, the sword, and then back to the Claw slot. And then it re-equipped the Dragon Claw, so uh, I guess that's something they fixed eventually. Alright, this was uh, explosives. Yeah, it's not a total waste. Yeah, I don't think there's that many, uh, but this is just like a side area, or a, you know, the mini boss area. It's not the full uh, fire crystal. Uh, dungeon, so uh, I don't think there's like a ton of uh, stuff in here. I think it's just the claw, and then there's the uh, mini boss. Aside from uh, tactics, I guess other side games I've played, uh, played Theater Rhythm on the DS there, uh, didn't care for it too much, it just seemed way too simplistic, like, you know, you, uh, because you were tapping on the screen, I think, uh, you know, it was all just variations of tapping, it was like you tap, you, you, you didn't even tap in different spots, it was like you tap or you tap long. Or you tap and he did, you know, it wasn't uh, terribly interesting, and uh, I don't know, I don't really care for a lot of the Final Fantasy, like, orchestral soundtrack stuff. Uh, if it had been all, like, battle themes and stuff, that would have been cool, but, uh, you know, a lot of the, you know, the more, like, lullaby, whatever, kind of slow, peaceful, uh, soundtracks that were, you know, uh, songs that were mm -hmm. in uh, it was just too boring, just sitting there, just tapping, uh, while listening to them. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I guess, uh, uh, Worlds of Final Fantasy, that was one. Uh, I had remembered uh, hearing a lot about it. It was like, I don't know, leading up to like E3, and then it, it showed up at E3 just out of nowhere. And I thought, wow, this is really cool looking. Uh, I 
can't wait to play this. And then uh, there was just no more news about it. Like, you know, I just, for some, I don't know if I just missed it or just nobody was talking about it. But, I don't know, I just remember not seeing anything about it uh, for like, you know, since it's kind of like E3 EPs or whatever. Uh, I didn't hear anything about it. I, I totally missed the release date. Uh, and then it ended up, it was like Boxing Day uh, one year. And, you know, I don't, I don't remember if it was like the year it was released or the, the year after or something. Uh, but then, you know, it was on sale there, like 50% uh, off or whatever. And so I was like, oh, you know, I just happened to see it, and I was like, oh, that's cool, so I bought it, and uh, it's actually probably one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Uh, yeah, like, I like, you know, I don't know, it's just such a, like, kind of, you know, fan service for the whole series kind of thing. You had all the different characters from all the different games. Uh, you had no Mystic Quest, unfortunately, but... Uh, yeah, it had you know, a whole bunch of different characters, all the different monsters. Uh, you could gather all the different monsters. You know, it had a cool... I like the art style a lot. I think, you know, the, the little chibi characters is cool looking. Uh, I like that it wasn't, like, super serious. Uh, I like kind of like a Kingdom Hearts style of, like, human characters. Uh, yeah, you know, raising and uh, catching all the different monsters was fun. Yeah, I know. I know it is out on uh, Switch. Uh, and, you know, I played the PS4 version. Uh, I don't really intend to get the Switch version. You know, just it is a big, long game. And, uh, I played through it once. There's uh, other games I'd rather play through. Uh, I typically only just kind of fully replay games that like I really, really like, or you know that are pretty short. Uh, you know, like this. I don't tend to just, you know, if it's a 90 hour RPG or whatever, it seems kind of a waste to play through it a second time. You know, there'll be another 90 hour RPG I can play instead, or, you know, 10 other 9 hour games. Hmm. Alright, that was, that guy was pretty easy. Gotta make sure we got explosives here. Actually, that's another thing I'd like to check sometime, is just, uh, you know, can you actually, uh, get over there? Uh, I don't remember if that is part of the other level. Yeah, I want to, so back at the boss there, I could go uh, south or I could go north. I want, I want to try to just go north here and uh, see what's up here. Mm. Oh, and I guess not, uh, not really technically Final Fantasy games. I guess they're, I don't know, as Final Fantasy as this is, but the, uh, 
Final Fantasy Legend games on like the, uh, I guess technically there was Saga, but on the Game Boy, uh, I did rent one of them as a kid, uh, I played it just a little bit, uh, and then a couple years ago I, went, I played through, I think the first one again, uh, they were pretty cool, I, you know, I like the idea of them. Otherwise, I don't have much to say about mm. Alright, so... I think I can just do this. Head back to town there. I, I don't know if I have to go back to town, but uh, I guess we should talk to Rupert's dad. had the uh, teleporter thing in his basement. Okay, it's not the crest we just got. Yeah, I think they're... I don't think any of them are, like, special. Uh, you know, they don't give you special items or anything like that. Uh, I think most of them either just teleport you to some shrine where you can get some healing items, or they teleport you to other basements in other towns. Yeah, see now we're back in uh, Water Place. And I think, yeah, like, one of them randomly teleports you on top of a tree somewhere, I think. We can go down here now. Sealed temple. Yeah, see, this is that other kind of useless temple over there. Okay. 
Kano. Uh, right. So this uh, still is not the final area. It's the final fire area. This is just a sub area. We go all the way through here. And then there's uh, the like main volcano area. So we got a lot of volcano left. interesting is to look up the uh, both the Chibi style uh, art they used in the guidebook mm. and uh, manual for this game and the uh, Yoshitaka Amano, Amano uh, like concept art. I don't remember if he actually designed the characters or and then they just ignored the designs and did the sprites or if he just ignored the sprites and did his own designs for them, but uh, there is uh, some art that he did of the different characters and stuff, and uh, his characters in most cases look kind of nothing like the uh, sprites here. Uh, Reuben especially, uh, his art of Reuben, he's like a kind of like a fat guy with, uh, I think he's just got kind of like those, uh, genie style pants or whatever. Uh, uh, no top. And I think he's like bald. Uh, he's still got the, uh, Morningstar though. Uh, Kaylee was somewhat, or, uh, Phoebe's somewhat different. Uh, in the chibi art, she's, uh, Got kind of like a metal bikini armor. I don't know, like a one piece metal bikini armor kind of thing and a cape. Uh, in Amano's art, she's just kind of like wearing like a tunic or something. Uh, I, I think Kaylee was pretty consistent uh, among all the art. Same with Tristan, he's fairly, I don't know, he's kind of like a, you know, ninja-ish, uh, I seem to remember he looks kind of like a bad guy in the Amano art. Like, I think he's got, I don't know, I, I may be remembering wrong, I haven't looked, this, looked at this for a while, but I seem to recall he's got, like, purple skin or something. Yeah, the one thing, uh, well, all the chibi art in the guide looks, uh, the manual and the guide look the same kind of as the sprites, uh, they're kind of what you imagine, except, uh, uh, looking at Ruben there, uh, I always thought that, uh, see, I don't know, I always kind of thought he had, like, this kind of normal armor and, uh, maybe like fur lined or something. That's what I kind of figured the white was there was that it, you know he had like kind of normal kind of leather armor with like a kind of fur lining on the end. Mm. Uh, but according mm. to the like the chibi art he's kind he looks kind of more like a gun room. Like that's actually just like white metal so he's got like red and white uh, you know, metal armor with like these big pointy arm pads or our shoulder things. Uh, yeah, it's just totally different than I always uh, imagined them. Other mm. uh, names are different too in the uh, Japanese version. Mm. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, Ruben was uh, red. Uh, Tristan was Rock, Kaylee is Karen, and Phoebe is Faye. So here we've got the same thing. Uh, 
invisible enemies for a couple minutes until we get the item that makes them visible again. It is nice that even changing floors uh, does not respawn enemies. So I can just head back over up here. So I got the, uh, oh yeah, I got the white spell there, actually, uh, I think, uh, mm. really paying attention, uh, oh uh, yeah, white, so that is one of the strongest spells in the mm. game, uh, it's, I think it will probably wipe out, uh, you know, an entire group at once, unless they're uh, resistant to it or something. Uh, not quite, but uh, still did a uh, fair bit of damage to this room. Alright, this is the, uh, this must be the item to make them all visible again.
Although I think we're, uh, let's see, we're pretty much done that spot, so I don't know uh, what the point of that was. Seemed kind of poorly thought out. <laughs> It would be interesting to go through the game uh, without getting the uh, mirror or the gas mask and just kind of see if maybe there's some other place later in the game that uh, uses them, like one or the other. For some reason I think there is another area that has that same kind of fog effect. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but... Uh, Perhaps if you don't have the cast mask there, you can't see the enemies. But that would be uh, neat anyways. Sprites there, like the uh, dogs all savage. Yeah, so I, I don't think there's any other items that I'm getting here. That's it. They're putting in like uh, text boxes or anything to the bosses. Like they're not like, ha ha ha, I will defeat you and then they fight. They're just like, okay, just, they're just gonna need it to fight you. Okay, it's that one uh, icon I didn't uh, recognize there. Uh, it's uh, paralysis. Uh, ben is immune to it. And poison. Yeah, so white uh, hits pretty hard against this little enemy. Petrify that there is uh, uh, it's a very dangerous uh, status ailment. Uh, if you both get petrified, then you just, you just die. So, that will uh, keep being dangerous for a little while longer. or whatever. I guess there actually there isn't any. Uh, got plenty. 
Pretty good progress. It started today at the uh, about to enter the water place. Now I'm about to enter the uh, fire final dungeon, so uh, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. <laughs> <laughs> 